Dee, 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 dee. Hello to all the head besties in the land. I'm back with Shady Katie. Hey. As you can see, she is back with that crazy <laughs> brutage. I swear, I don't see you for like six months at a time. I know, this is what happens. Ugh. I wait for you though. Hey, I appreciate the loyalty. You'll be a mess for me. Thank you. We can never change it because her blue is stuck in her head. But this is pretty cool seeing that the tone is still there after six months. And she shampoos her hair like every day. So today we're going to use our new ocean rain color. I love that. I yeah. love Pisces. So. Oh, <laughs> it all works out. So ocean rain with our green aurora. I want to go full color deposit so you guys get to see the richness and the depth of the color because it's so pretty. I'm so excited for new superpower shades. Oh, do you see our beautiful tulips over here? Oh, they are pretty. Are you ready to go? <laughs> let's do Pan. it. Pan. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Today we're going to use Big Nine on her. We also have Magna Ma ah! <laughs> Wow, but as you can see shady is she's shady. She has level one hair So we have to turn to big nine. So you have a choice of using one to one half ratio or one to two One to two is gonna get you less lift but more spreadability one to one half will give you the maximum lift And you're gonna get more of a thicker more luxurious consistency when I add Olaplex to the formula I only gonna use this much don't put too much product in it less is more Right, so since you got your body condom on, I'm gonna put my hand <laughs> condoms on. <laughs> there we go. So as usual, this is very important to keep it off of the scalp. The head naturally have heat emitting from the scalpage. Moving quick is key here because we're dealing with 40 volume hair because her hair will lift pretty fast even though she's so dark naturally. I'm doing it open air first and then I introduce the foils after I already lay down the lighter. The Guy Tang My Dandy Rose Gold brushes because it's naturally feathered on the bristles. You're able to apply the product without a harsh demarcation line. I haven't pulled out the foils yet for incubation. I'm just making sure I saturate every section and her hair already lifted to a level 8 in less than 15 minutes. So I know that once I incubate her hair with foils, her hair is going to get up to a level 10. But this is amazing lift, guys. So we are 15 minutes in after laying the foils down. I want you guys to take a look how light Shady's hair lifted. Her hair is a level 10 already. So what I'm going to do is hit the routage. I am going to open her up right in through there and I'm going to lay big 9 down. You can literally turn the pages of the foil. What I find is like turning the pages here actually gives you easier access to the scalp because everything's already pre-sectioned for you. I'm just gonna do this throughout her whole entire head and let her process for an additional 15 minutes. So a total processing time of 45 minutes altogether. All right, so we're back with Shady Katie. So we lifted her up pretty blonde here. I nip her ends, give her a little nipple trim. So my first formula here, I have Green Aurora. And my second formula is Ocean Rain. You're gonna see less of that royal type of blue tone like you see in Blue Mystique. If you put it on a canvas that's more yellow, you're gonna see more of a teal tone. If you're gonna put it on a canvas that's more platinum or level 10, it's gonna look a little bit more like the sky. I like to create a black type of tone for the shadow root. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze out Purple Raven. So when you put Purple Raven and Green Aurora together, you create almost like a blackish smoke color. Three parts Purple Raven to one part Green Aurora, as you can see here. All right, so I'm gonna put the shadow routage down and put it right on her scalp here. Many hair besties will ask, why would you lift the hair up so light to put something dark down? I have to think about the longevity. If I'm not gonna see her for six months or whatever, over time as this, she wears her color, it's gonna have a nice shadow root and it's gonna transition and blend seamlessly. So now I'm applying Ocean Rain underneath in an ombre type of way. And you can see the shadow root is just so beautiful, right? I like to go in and drag that shadow root down so that way it blends. The Ocean Rain color, what I love is before, the color of Blue Mystique was very royal and I find that sometimes it's hard to make it blend into Green Aurora. So now having Ocean Rain in the arsenal of your superpower, you're able to create this very, very vibrant ocean blue. Now if you don't want the hair to be so teal, use Blue Mystique. Blue Mystique has the right tone to cancel out anything that can look green and you're gonna get that blue that you want. I'm not afraid to kind of melt it in to the formula. Just 
just so it looks more muted. Guys. I love the shadow rue. It helps it because like I don't see you for like five or six months and my friends are always like, but it still looks good. Like, it looks worn in, but not in like a very harsh way. Well, cause, so. cause you wouldn't want to have a bright scalp, right? Right. I swear everybody on Instagram is always asking, why does he lift their hair up to only take it back down dark? It's like, you guys don't understand. Direct dye is direct dye. It's always gonna wear off. That part's already been lightened. So it's gonna lighten up and it's gonna diffuse that demarcation as the hair grows out, guys. So if I get up close around her face, I want to see more green, right? So I'm not gonna drag the ocean rain tone down as far. Apply it mainly through that mid shaft area just a little bit, merging and blending, leaving this out for the green aurora. So we are going in with green aurora now, performing a color melting situation here. I always like to apply the formula on the ends first and then actually merge it through the mid shaft. One thing I love about the Superpower Direct Dyes is the product really spreads and penetrates easily through the hair. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is lay a mesh sheet. I'm just gonna cover the back and just kind of let it lay on back. Okay, so now I'm gonna over direct everything to the front. This is something I've been loving to do is create this halo effect around the head. We're gonna start right here on the fringe. I'm gonna lay a mesh sheet down. I cut out a little cardboard. This really helps me. <laughs> what I find that really helps is to paint the blue on the ends first and this helps the hair stick. We're gonna go in with the green Aurora and paint that right on through the center. Make sure you spread the hair back and forth. All right, so take very fine sections here. But what's really important on why I left this mesh sheet underneath, now I'm gonna turn it over and close the mesh and then tilt it right on back, just like that. And then now we'll let her process for 25 minutes. My superpower. Shady Katie's Woo! hair. Here's the thing, Shady, you're just gonna be blue, you're just gonna be green or purple. Why the, the, fight it? Why fight it? This is who you are. This is what you're gonna be blue forever. For the rest of your life. <laughs> and it's okay. But you know what I love? I love the ocean rain. Mm -hmm. I think next time we should do blue mystique going into ocean rain. That'd be it's, really pretty. Right? I like how the green <laughs> is just kind of like right through the center. It kind of goes through yeah. and it kind of creates like emotion, right? Anyway, guys, thumbs up, subscribe. I'll leave the links to get to stock Shady Katie on Instagram yes. and myself as well. I love you much. Yeah. And I can't wait for everyone to see more music coming because Shady says she loves my music, right? Yes, number one fan. You're my number one fan. She listens to it on iTunes, okay? So all the links will be below for all my new music coming out. Love you guys much. Bye! My super